What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today we're going to do a mega overview of Mega Swampert. Two megas in one opening phrase. Very odd there. Now Mega Swampert retains his water ground typing, which is pretty good actually. Uh, for water ground types, the only weaknesses concerned there is grass, outside of the very uh, seldom used freeze dry, which he would also be quad weak to. Mega Swamper gets a buff to all of his stats except for HP, uh, with attack getting the highest buff, and uh, speed actually speed and special attack only bumping up by 10 points each. That is actually a really good spread. Mega Swamper retains his ability to take hits very well, with bulk that rivals that of Jirachi or Celebi, and uh, actually is better than them, but uh, just a little bit slow there. Swift Swim is definitely the ability for this Pokemon, because with Swift Swim, of course, it's going to double your speed, get you up to that nice, uh, I believe the number we're going to be seeing there is uh, 478 with an adamant nature, which is enough to outspeed just about everything in the tier outside of Ninjask with the speed boost or speed form Deoxys and things like that, which are just not really worth taking into account when we're just theory mining right now. Now, as far as set ideas go, most Swampert that you're going to see in most Mega Swampert are going to be a stock of Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and a filler move. This is because not only is that just great coverage, Waterfall and Earthquake have really good neutral coverage, and then the only thing that those two are resisted by, of course, are Grass types, which Ice Punch hits. For the most part, Waterfall is going to be the go-to move because it will be stabbed and boosted by the rain, which makes it more powerful than Earthquake. The filler move can be a variety of things. Uh, you might see Mega Swamper using Stealth Rocks, or um, you might see it be using the manual rain dance in which Swampert sets up its own rain as opposed to relying on teammates to do it for it. Uh, just a few things to keep in mind, as far as Adamant versus Jolly or even other natures such as Naive to boost speed or uh, if you're not worried about your speed on your Mega Swampert and you run and run a relaxed nature or something like that so you can use mixed attacks, just keep the uh, EVs in mind. Most Swampert are probably going to end up running Adamant uh, probably max speed even with the adamant there just to make sure that they get the jump on any choice scarfers that might be running around and the only reason to really run jolly is to outspeed other mega swampert so there's really not a lot of reason to do that uh, now as far as a mix set goes that's actually pretty important to take a look at you will have to cherry pick which of your stats you want lowered or even if you can use a special attack reducing nature and still get the re desired result but a mix attack set is worth looking at just because of the skew we're going to see heading into um, Auris, uh, we're going to see everything kind of moving towards the physical side. Much more emphasis on not only physical attackers because of the increasing prevalence of things like Mega Scizor, Mega Pinsir, the introduction of Mega Lopunny and Mega Salamence. All these really focus on physical attack, even Mega Altaria gets a nice boost to his physical attack and you see a lot of people running Dragon Dance with Return, boosted by Pixelate. We're going to be looking at a lot more physical defenders as well. Uh, Pokemon such as Ferrothorn, Slowbro, Kofagrigus, uh, Mandibuzz, all of them are going to start skewing and running a little bit more defense to keep up with all these threats. Now that being said, Mega Swamper got a great boost to its attack, but physical walls still check it pretty well. Uh, of course, um, it can use Earthquake against Ferrothorn, or maybe we can run in that filler slot a fighting type move like Superpower, Hammer Arm, or even to a lesser extent Focus Blast. But without investment, Focus Blast might two hit KO, and plus you have to factor in the chance you might miss there. And then uh, the other moves that it has, the physical moves, will not do a KO, which allows Ferrothorn to either set up entry hazards or just outright KO with the power whip. Uh, Kofagrigus is a special mention here because if um, Mega Swamper wants to hit it with the most powerful move here, Waterfall, not only will that remove its Swiss Swim ability, but it will probably do right around 30 or 40% to a fully defensive Kofagrigus, and then Kofagrigus will burn it. 
So that is the type of situation that Swampert really does not need to stay in on. And you'll get a similar result uh, up against some of the Prankster Willowis Pokemon. Uh, relatively bulky. Uh, also, Mandibuzz is a pretty good switch in because it's immune to Earthquake. And it will probably take around 50% from uh, the waterfall, allowing it to roost and stall out the rain. And Slowbro can do that even better because it resists the waterfall and takes around 30 to 40% from Earthquake as well when it's fully physically defensive. So there are a lot of ways in just your walls and your cores to slow down Mega Swampert. And that being said, um, sometimes you just need to get rid of the weather. Other weather users uh, or other manual uh, weather users are a good way to stop it. And then of course we just have reg regular grass moves. Any relatively powerful grass move will still be enough to muscle through Mega Swamper just because it's four times effective. Other move tutor options that I thought were interesting, Super Power, Low Kick, Ice Punch, Aqua Tail, Iron Tail, and Stealth Rock, all relatively have a reason or two in support of running them on your Mega Swamper. Uh, Stealth Rocks and Super Power get a special mention just because the utility of Stealth Rocks. It's always good to get entry hazards on the field whenever you can and Mega Swamper will be forcing a lot of switches. And then Super Power allows it to hit Pokemon uh, like Ferrothorn or other Steel types that would otherwise resist its moves or take them relatively well. Now good partners for Mega Swampert are going to be things that can set up the rain. Uh, Clef Key I thought gets a special mention just because it resists grass type moves and it can set up priority rain. And then strong special attackers like Magnezone or Kingdra that can utilize the rain. Magnezone using Thunder. Kingdra of course just attacking on the other end of the spectrum uh, with Swift Swim as well are going to be good because they will force your opponent to switch their walls in and out um, and then they're basically allowing you to open up holes for Mega Swamper to come in and clean up later. Uh, Magnezone is especially good because it gets rid of Ferrothorn or Skarmory, both of which can handle Mega Swamper with relative ease. So what do you guys think of Mega Swamper? Do you guys see yourself using a mix set or anything like that? Or is the first set that I listed, the Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Filler Move, more in line with what you're thinking of? Leave your thoughts in the description and make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Let's try to get some likes on this video and make sure to share it so that we can get as many uh, ideas as we can going about Mega Swampert. And then, in the meantime, stay, stay tuned for uh, Mega Glalie on the next video that I do for this Mega series. Have a great day, guys. Bye.